Hi guys, I just want to come back and um, do a video that I haven't really found online and there's a ton. So if somebody's done this before, I apologize, but I uh, learned a lot from a lot of people and um, just wanted to review um, the Florentine satchels and the sizes because uh, I have been trying to figure out which size I wanted and I kind of had to buy them to understand really what I was getting myself into. So if you want to see a comparison for the Dooney and Burke Florentine Stashel, definitely stay tuned. Um, there's a couple. I have a problem. Um, but so if we can go ahead and get started, I want to show you this. First of all, I just got this and uh, I never pay full price for the majority of my bags. I did pay full price for um, the Dooney Brenna. Um, it's amazing. I have to tell you that I love it. I will never ever get rid of it, um, nor will I get rid of any of these. I love the Florentine um, and I bought them for a long-term investment, hopefully to use um, until I'm in the nursing home, basically. So, um, but Pecan Tan Beauty has an awesome video on the Brenna, um, amazing video. I am very simple. So um, check her out if you wanna learn about the Brenna. It was on sale at QVC. I picked it up for high 200s. Um, if you're looking for a payment plan, uh, it was $5 shipping. They had a ton of colors. I should have bought more, but I didn't. I love that satchel and it's great for the winter um, because you don't have to worry about getting any water, wet, snow, if you live in any of the areas where we tend to get a lot of that. So um, before I get started, I just want to show you this because this is amazing. And I got, this is pretty much the color you'll see. This is Rouge. This is a medium male satchel. Um, I found a person on eBay that I don't ask questions, but they have fantastic deals every once in a while. They'll throw a purse up online and uh, I snatched it up. So this was new with tags, still had the wrapping all over it. I was looking for something this color um, for the winter and I snagged this for like 140 bucks with shipping. Brand new, just got it today. Absolutely love it. Um, again, this is the Dooney medium male satchel. Absolutely awesome. Um, it's a pretty small purse in comparison to some of them. I like the wide opening on all of it. You, you know, can see I'm pretty much stacked to the gills in this thing. Um, and I can do a review at a later date because I really didn't find one that was telling me a whole lot about it. Um, so I took the chance and I bought it knowing I probably wouldn't be disappointed. But awesome bag, ladies. I love it. And I love the color even more. So the reason I'm doing this video today is to show you the difference between the three sizes of satchels they have for Dooney. So they have a mini, right? They have a small. You can see the size difference already. Even if I throw the two behind, um, carrying it in your hand as compared to the other one. This is very tiny. It's cute. You want to take it to shopping. You want to crossbody it, whatever you want to do. It's a cute little lightweight satchel. It'll still fit a large size wallet, has the feet on the bottom, um, but like a tiny little, tiny little thing. And I love it for that reason. So if I'm going on a day trip or I'm carrying a briefcase, you know, you don't want to have uh, this monster in your hand and then a briefcase in the other hand um, and be walking the streets in New York City. Um, it looks like I'm going camping. So uh, I kind of saved that one for those times. So got that one, pick this up for a hundred bucks, brand new on eBay. Um, set your searches because if you do and you check it as much as I do, I'm always on my phone constantly anyway. One pops up, you can grab it really, really nice. You take a chance, but guess what? Absolutely gorgeous. Picked it up, brand new, $100. Um, this is the small size. Again, this was an eBay purchase. Um, got it for oh, 130 bucks, 
purchased it at the Galleria Mall in Dallas, she said. Meh. Came with tags, came with everything. Looked brand new, was brand new, pretty much. You can tell when these guys start to get worn out a little bit or even worn in general. So um, just to give you the measurements across the mini, it's 11, okay? 11 inches across. So that's the mini one, guys. Uh, this is a small. So this was the Python. It's black. Um, pretty cool color if I'm going to wear it for, you know, with a suit or, you know, even I can dress this up with jeans. Still very versatile, like the brown and black. No matter what I'm wearing, it kind of goes with it. I haven't even used this yet. Um, but awesome deal. One hint, guys, if you're getting these, wrap these. I don't even, I use a rubber band, but I actually wrap acid-free paper around them and then put the rubber band on because um, I don't want to get that rubber band mark. So this is the small. And keep me posted if you want to see what fits in it, what doesn't. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video of size differences just for those people that are starting to look and trying to figure out what size they want. This is about 12 and a half inches across the bottom. Still will fit your 11 inch purse organizer or anything else in there. Cute size, right? Sorry guys, I do this in my basement. It's the only place I can hold my purses um, without my husband having a heart attack. So cute size, but again, here's the difference on your arm. You can see it already, right? Um, you get to the bigger one. And these I love <laughs> to the point, yeah, this is where I see I left one on. Um, that's how I wrap them. So just a small rubber band, acid-free paper, throw it around there, keeps them nice because I don't like those floopy little uh, tassels that you get if you just don't wear them or they start to stick up. This is a large, <laughs> and this is amazing. Um, it looks fantastic on some of the, the people that have reviewed this. Um, Pecan Tan Beauty has a couple of videos. I keep referring to her. She's done a ton of um, reviews on Dooney's, guys. So check her out for sure, along with uh, a couple of other ones that I keep my eyes open for a lot. But um, this is beautiful. It didn't look as big on her, uh, and it fit really nice. So that was actually the video where I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and take the plunge. I'll go with a larger size. Uh, you know, I have kids. They always want me to hold stuff, so I'm never going to run out of room. Look great on her. Purchase this. I have it in the ocean blue, and I have it in the natural. Um, on these, I actually have a leather punch that I use because it does hang really, really low, um, almost below your, your uh, butt, you know, uh, to hold it with a shoulder strap. So this is what this looks like. Still awesome, though, right? Um, it's heavy. It's heavy. So if you're going to carry it around, um, you're going to want some type of alternate strap because you're going to get, you know, you're going to get some muscles holding it this way. Um, this is the difference in size, guys. You can see. Okay. So it all depends on what you're looking for. 11, 12 and a half inch as compared. Let me move this as compared to the, see how big, okay? But it's not huge, girls. Like, you're not gonna get it and be like, ha, oh, gym bag. It's not, but it is a big satchel, okay? Um, so keep that in mind if you're investing money in this one because it is the more expensive one. Um, I'll do the measurement for you real quick. Corner to corner, it's about 14 and a half. So about two inches longer than this one. And I think for maybe an everyday purse for me, you guys, you know, everyone's different depending on what they've used before. Um, I like this because I can get more in it. The more I get in it, the heavier it is. Um, so if I'm doing an everyday type of purse, I might grab this one. Um, these are even on the side so you can see how much further it sticks out just a little bit okay but hopefully it gives you just a little bit of an idea all the same inside um, you're gonna be able to fit whatever you want honestly you can fit quite a bit even in the little mini 
Um, so that's cool too. But the other option you go with after that, if you want a little bit of a different design, this is the Dooney Stan Witch in Timaro. Um, it's fleet on the bottom, it's got pleats. But this one is, let me take a little measurement for you because if you wanna get out of the Florentine, um, like I have up here, then you're gonna do next best thing, which they're not even compared. This is 15 inch, so it's actually a little longer across the bottom. This is the sandwich than even this one, but it looks smaller. See? About the same size, guys. This might be 15. I might have measured a little bit wrong. So probably 15, this is, give or take, a little bit of a difference there, so you can see the sizes. But all made the same. I'll have the whip stitching on the handles. Lots and lots of years out of these bad boys. Um, I absolutely love them. I have about 20 Doonies right now. Uh, I sold a lot of my purse collection that I've had over the years, Coach and Kate Spade, and sold those. Um, kept my eye on eBay. Um, bought purses, new tags, some without, but really great condition. And I actually flipped them. So, you know, people that weren't listing them right, um, people that weren't taking great pictures, uh, people that just didn't, they were just trying to get rid of stuff and weren't pricing it really high. Uh, I purchased it, flipped it. So I would potentially make anywhere from 30 to 100 bucks. Um, so I took that money and I reinvested it and went full Dooney. So I have maybe a couple of Coach Burrow bags, uh, the smaller ones, and then I went straight Dooney. So uh, I did all that and I probably spent all of 200 bucks. So 20 Doonies later, the majority of them knew a tags, um, got everything you're seeing here, plus a lot, lot more. Um, so that's my story. And this one, um, again, just to give you a measurement across the bottom, if you're looking for the male satchel, it's about 14, about 14, 13 and a half maybe. Really great purse though. I actually like the opening a lot more on this. Straight out and you can open this nice and wide. So um, if you have a lot of stuff, the openings on these, you know, uh, are a little bit smaller. So to give you measurements on that, real quick, uh, about 10 on the Stan Witch. That's gonna make a mark. The red rouge on this male satchel scratches so darn easy, it's not even funny, just an FYI. Um, on the mini, the opening, uh, eight inches wide, eight inches wide on that for the opening. Um, the opening on this one, let's call it nine, about nine and a half if you wanna squeeze something. And then the opening on the big lady is, Twelve and a half tops, maybe 12, 12. So you're gonna get pretty big opening with her. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys make a couple of decisions. Listen, any money to me, uh, I wanna know what I'm getting into. And if you haven't touched and seen them before, especially if you're buying off online, off eBay, off Dooney's site, off QVC, whatever you're doing um, to get your hands on a Dooney, um, you never really know until you get home. So. Hopefully this helped out a few people. I, I didn't see a video like this on YouTube. So um, like my channel if you want to subscribe. I will post a video probably every one, one and a half, two weeks. Um, I'm a simple gal. There's no jazz. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer them right away. Thank you, everyone. Um, you know you girls out there. Lori and Picanti and Sandy. Uh, Picanti and Beauty. Sorry. Um, and there's a couple of others, LJ, last name's Davis, Davis, I don't know. Um, but you guys are really, really helpful in posting reviews uh, to have other people make purchases, including me. So have a great night, guys. Thanks.